Hi guys, this video is GBP USD update. I had already told people to sell. And even if the TP was not hit, like um, it remained like four pips for the TP to be hit and you are caught up on this trade, you are not able to cancel the trade, there's still a chance for you to sell again. So kindly pay attention on what I will be analyzing. And um, yeah, you pay attention and then at the end of the day, I'll tell you the exit triggers and I'll tell you the best time to um, why I'm still thinking the sale is viable. So first of all, we need to check how the weekly candle closed. So for the first time, guys, we have a red candle. You can see this resistance for three weeks, we didn't have a red candle. And finally, last week, we got a red candle, meaning sellers are in control. At the end of the day, sellers are in control. And that's the best thing, guys. Now, I keep telling you that we have this double top. I don't know why the buyers are, the buyers are really giving us headache. Um, there's that double top. And you know, in the Forex, you first need to prove the strategy that you use. You don't hope from one strategy to another. So the OPT strategy is what we are really using here because this double top is only on weekly. And if something is on weekly, it means uh, once it gives us an entry, it will sell down. So there are two things, guys. Number one, we got this bearish angle, the red candle, we have the bearish candle. So the, the market can come, it can drop, touch our half. That is one incidence, and that is 284 pips. So they take profit for this market. Like I will be done with selling if the market goes to 1.2, 420. The other possibility is an inverted cap and handle, not inverted, a uh, standing cap and handle. Why? If buyers this week will will be done with selling if buyers are able to break out of that area, which is possible. That's why I tell people, you can never be biased in a market. You cannot say, oh, it's a strong sell. Oh, it's a strong buy. I'm just telling you some um, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario of GBP USD, it might buy because of giving us a uh, standing cap and handle. And for us to realize if it will buy or not, for us to realize, oh, now it's a buy, they have to break, they have to break what? They have to break the first attempt. They have to break this resistance. So they have to break this resistance for that. So there's no way you can tell me, oh, GBPSD is a, sell, is a buy. If you're talking of a buy, just come with a proof where the buyers have broken out. If you have that proof and you are sure the buyers have broken out. Okay, we'll be done with selling and we'll get we we'll look for buy opportunities. Are we together? So we will not we will not be we will not we will not uh we will not be ha, will not ha, be having uh like not knowing what to do. Oh, is it a buy? Is it a sell? Of course, the market is a sell, but our sell opportunity will end if they break out. So can we now focus on the sell opportunity? Because the buy side has to come if they break out. So breaking out, they can go how many pips up? 95 pips up. So if they break out of that double top, that market will buy. But there's so much possibility of this market to sell down and reach 1.2420, that's 290 something pips. If you come to the daily time frame, we want to see what is happening. We want to see what is happening. So we can see the Friday candle, the previous candle, this one. Can you see this candle, the green one, the spinning top? Spinning tops happens mostly on um rejected market. When a market rejects, that's when it forms a spinning top. And now the best thing with this market, we might not have uh, uh, all the information on, on uh, GBPSD. In fact, what I want you to do, for you to have even multiple confirmation, I want you to place 
you can place this trend line and it will really help you. So this is an extra confirmation. We can use this trend line. So there's that trend line. So if the market breaks out of our trend line, it is coming, it is dropping all that way. So we can place this trend line like that. Can you see? So you'll be looking at, at three things. You'll be looking at how today's, today's on a Monday. How will this candle close? After the rejection, after the spinning top, how will it close? That is number one. Number two, will they attempt to break that trend line? Because that's another thing, guys. For the market to tell us they are strong, they need to break that trend line. So we, we like remaining how many pips? Almost like 84 pips. So if you're that person who wants to have confirmation, one, wait for this support to break. If this support breaks, let me tell you, just click sell. If they break out of 1.2612, just sell. Don't even think twice. Just sell if they break out there. If they break the trend line, again, sell. So if you're that someone who is not sure, oh, am I selling? Oh, should I wait? That is the most perfect zone to sell because today the market can still go up and break that resistance that I've told you. So if you have a small account or you don't want to enter when there is too much risk because these are risky sell. If you sell now, it's very risky. When we go to four hour, note we still have our trend line. And like I've said, it's either you wait, it's either you wait that trend line to break. So I'm just, just want to align. Um, I want to align the trend line. So it's either you wait for that trend line to break. Can you see? You wait for this trend line to break or you wait for the support to break. So here we have at least two things that will be governing us. We need the CS current support. This is a support. Let's not say it's a CS, it's not current, but this is the major support. Wait for it to break if you really want to know the direction of uh, GBPUSD, wait for it to break and trust me, the market is dropping up to there once they break. That is one. Number two, if they break here, number two, what do you think? They will have broken the trend line. So you can have that patient. That is one way you can wait for GBPUSD. If you have not entered and you have seen this trade and you are watching it, first of all, you should add it to your watch list. Number two, how do you enter this trade? If you want, to, if you are a risk trader and you want to risk, if you are a risk trader, for me, I'm a risk trader, so I don't see anything big deal. And because when I risk, I learn a lot. The, we have OPT and guys, you know what OPT means. We have one pattern on one time frame on GBPUSD. And let me show you what, what I mean. We have first attempt here, and then we have second attempt. So this is OPT. So when I flip on the daily, you can see on this side, can you see here, we don't have any resistance, but you're seeing it on the four hour. This is very powerful, guys. If we have OPT on four hour, it means for our will guide us. For our will guide us, guys. So two things can happen in this chart. So this is our four hour time frame. We have OPT. And then the same area we are saying support, it's our support stroke neckline now. It is our support stroke neckline. Why neckline? Because we have OPT and that's our neckline, guys. So you have, that is a very strong area. This support is very, very strong. If they break there, the market gonna do what? Gonna sell higher. We have neckline. So let's look for a half. Let's look for a half. 
So our half is almost, can you see our half? That is our half, guys. So the first trade trade, how do you enter sell of a double top? How do you trade a double top, a possible double top? We trade it when you use CSB, current support break. So here we'll be saying we are waiting for CSB. CSB, current support break. So current support break, you can see we have a green candle followed by red candle followed by green. So we got a support created and that support was broken. So you can see we have this support break, guys. This support break tells us that this market in the next four hours, if you enter right now, you will make 23 pips. So your first take profit should be at 26.90 as you wait for the half to break. So you can enter this sell and as you wait for the half to break, so you can enter two trades. One, you put it at 26.90. The other trade, you wait for the half to break so that you can hold that trade. So if the trade comes like that and they break that half, trust me, they are going down. So by the time everyone is waiting for the neckline to break, for us, we'll have gained how many pips? 102 pips. And then now it's us to wait for the neckline to be broken. So guys, what I'm trying to say is that this is a trade. If you enter right now, you'll be give, you will you will have to enter two trades. One, you take it as 26.90, and the other one, you take it at 26.10. So I will do update. I'll come back to update you guys if first of all TP1 is hit because I've told you for those who want to enter risk trade. Here, the reason why the trade didn't hit our take profit immediately is because we had major news. We had NSPS uh, last week. And I told you, if you're not comfortable trading with news, avoid that trade. The, for the three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we don't have news on USD or GBP. So it's a good time to trade this pair because we don't have any manipulation or forces that makes the market go down. So if you want to trade, you can enter now and target up to half and you will get at least 23 pips. And then if they break, you enter and target up to 26.10. That is it, guys. I hope this will be a trade for you. If you don't want all this, wait for the market to break the neckline if you don't want a risky trade because these are risky trades so comment below let me know will you sell will you wait for the neckline break will you wait for half break or will you enter now so i want you to hear from you will you sell now will you sell after half is broken or will you sell after neckline is broken where do you think there is less risk and if you're selling now what is making you to sell? Is it that you have a bigger account? Is it that you have used a small lot? Because if you use a 001, it is okay. You can sell immediately. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope when I come back, I will come back with enough. Uh, I will come back to analyze if half is broken so that we can be going down. That's when I'm coming to update. So I can even put like this because I will not interfere with it. I'll uh, say to people to sell and the first take profit is 24, 26.90. That's where I have said people to sell, 26.90. So when I come back, that's what we will, we will have. Thank you so much guys for watching. And then another thing, if this market, if this bias continues and break out of this, this is something that people don't understand. This market can, the bias can still break out. It will give us a cup and handle. So that's what I'm saying. Selling here, it's a risky trade. But if you have a, a big account, we can know how to exit that trade if sellers are defeated. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Bye-bye. Love you.